Hey, shalom brothers and sisters on YouTube. This is Brother Richard at Altruistic Torah Studies. And today I had a bit of a, uh, a gift at my front door. It wasn't exactly a gift. Actually, I bought the thing. It was a package that arrived at my front door. And um, it's a 50 pound bag of premium pool filter sand. Filter fan. Okay, cool. Filter sand. <laughs> I'll change the name of it. But anyway, this mystic white is a, um, it's a substrate that I am going to put in the bottom of my tilapia tanks. Okay. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I intend to grow some aquaculture type plants so that it keeps the water clean and I don't have to fight back and forth a whole heck of a lot with the um, nitrates and nitrites and ammonia and things like that that happen whenever you raise fish. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit more complicated than this, but this is the start of it. And over here we have a half gallon bar, uh, ball. Yeah. Ball jar. Did I say bar? Cool. All right. Ball jar. And, uh, what I do is I'm going to fill this up with sand to the neck right there and I'm going to push it down into the tank and let all the air go out and let all the water go in. And then I'm going to take and turn it over and I'm going to distribute the sand on the bottom of the tank about an inch above the, the, the bottom. Okay. Right above the bottom, about an inch. And I'm just going to kind of walk it down or walk it forward, whichever way I decide to go. And I'm going to do that until the tank has a uh, about one to two inches of sand. I think I'm going to actually do one inch at one spot and two inches at the other spot, but I'll show you that in just a minute. Let me, uh, let me, let me go ahead and get this done, and then I'll, I'll show you the results of that discussed a little bit. Okay, so now that I've finished this, um, I want to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Now, you've seen from the other video that there were blue rocks on the bottom of my fish tank, the second fish tank, right? Okay, well, they're still there, but they're underneath the sand, okay? And what I've done on one-third of, uh, of the tank is I've, I've made the sand a little bit, a little bit higher, about two inches, two inches and a half, and up front, probably about an inch, if you could see past this little lip right here. And right now the water is a little bit cloudy, but it seems like the fish are tolerating it well. Okay. These guys are getting fat and, uh, yeah. Okay. So there's the pineapple under the sea again. And this time SpongeBob is on his feet. I guess he's sober today, which is just fine. Um, but anyway, so what's going to happen back here is I'm going to take where this floaty thing is right here. Okay. And I'm going to make a net that's going to be like a uh, like a screen for a window, okay? And uh, the net's going to, you know, I'm not going to make a net. I'm going to make a screen basically using a net net type material that is tank uh, fish tank friendly. And I'm going to make sure that it's not too big because I don't want it to push on the on the outsides of the tank because the tank can come apart. I've seen people have what we call tank failure, okay? And uh, yeah, I don't want that because I've got my my library behind me. <laughs> that wouldn't work out very well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cordon this area off, okay? And I'm going to plant plants in the thicker area. And I will show you guys uh, uh, the build for the, for the partition, and I will show you guys the, the planting of the plants. Now up top, and the very reason why I have this float floaty up top <laughs> floaty is because uh, if you're if you're aware of what happens like in the Gulf when there's an oil spill or something like that, they will take buoys. We can call this a buoy. OK, and they'll float it on the top of the water and it will cordon off the oil and keep it from going many places. Now, there's oil that goes deeper and does all kinds of stuff. But yet, for the most part, the oil spill is stopped, as will the um, the duckweed. They will be stopped. Okay, they will be stopped right there in that little third area, and um, and the and the net will keep the fish from coming up under there and eating all the duckweed like they did last time. See, so they're going to get to eat some, but they're going to get to eat some uh, intermittently, as opposed to just sitting there and gorging on them until they're all gone. Uh, but the fish water will also feed the uh, duckweed and keep it alive, and it'll multiply like crazy because that's what duckweed does. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing today. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up and, and give you a closer view. Like I said, you can see a couple of the little blue rocks in there that are still on top. 
this is one of the things that I, I really used to enjoy doing a couple of years back, and I am so excited to get back to doing it. I will take you guys through it if you want to uh, tune in and everything like that and, and check out my videos. There, here's over, over here the duckweed. These guys have been trying to get through this net, and if they were a little bit tougher, I'm thinking that they would have by now. Okay. Well, anyway, um, thanks for, for showing up, and if you don't mind, please like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a couple of things uh, maybe we could uh, learn together and, and, and or um, one of your friends could learn. Who knows? All right. So thank you for stopping by. All right. Shalom.